the back straight, but we are set to go. 15 laps is the journey. For the production today and feature race, and it's Blight Rose, as you would expect, who will lead us away on this freshly prepared track. Question is as well, not only is how far will Blight take the win, it's how many laps <laughs> Jamie Graham can circulate before he pulls to the infield. It's going better than the last time around as he's able to do half a lap. And this is why Kyle Blight leads lap number one over Rose, Bott and Lachlan Eason. And would you believe that Graham has been able to compete a lap, but it has been Angus Bott who has spun the car around. And put one down, 14 still remaining. It's Blight, Rose, Bott, who has been a relegated position after spinning, and that has been Lachlan Eason now has found himself on the podium. Back underway. What a jump from Kyle Blight on that opening lap. He has bolted away from Barry Rose. Lachlan <laughs> Eason's trying the top side of the racetrack. And oh, poor Jamie Graham. Oh, no. Well, he did complete one lap. That's what it's going to say on the board anyway. Yeah, he did about five rolling laps under yellow. So the race continues out of turn number two and down the back straight. Kyle Blight is your race leader. So they come out of turn number four, down the main straight. Light from Rose, from Eason, and from Angus Bott. In a race with only four cars remaining, they are nicely spread out, making it very difficult to find anything remotely close. Now, there is a little hint of smoke coming out of the one car, but there's never a night where a blight car doesn't have some smoke coming out of it at some point, but it's still going very quickly. It just seems inevitable, really, for these guys. They're always so Oops. quick. Uh, we've got Angus Bot that's gone around again, but we've still got the green lights on, but same problem in the same place for Bot in the 96. And he's now within a run for Kai Blight. You can see Bot. Right ahead of him in the 96, the former wingless sprint driver now finding his feet on radial rubber in production sedans. His bike completes six laps and is actually over two seconds now ahead of Barry Rose. Back to Lockie Easton in third and Angus Bott sees them all. Well, no, he doesn't see anybody. He's last uh, and he's about to see them because they're coming up on him. Seven down now for Kai Blight. Rose in second place, Eason third, and Angus Spot gets past the scene of the crime and moves down the back straight. As we get to the halfway mark, the West Australian champion leads a former West Australian champion. So move out to turn number three, gets right round the outside, and has eight down and seven to go. I'm quite surprised that actually how Oops. nice and stuck Blight looked on that top side of the racetrack as Barry Rose had to really play smart right there. But has already gone around twice in that same spot as they are chasing the top side of the racetrack, both of them. And then that was getting a little bit bottom dominant. Blight and Rose are both finding their liking. Now the halfway mark of the racetrack is not allowing Blight to run away as well as that really stays stagnant around the two second mark, the gap between himself and Rose. And now this could be the point where Rose could look to the bottom, see if he closes the gap, or if what Blight actually does as he finds his way down to the bottom of the side of the racetrack. So 10 down, 10 and a half down, and four and a bit to go. Rose chasing down Kai Blight. So they come out of three and four. Kai Blight last time around did a 20.8. This time he does a 20.9 and it was a 20.8 for Rose and a 20.8 the next time around for Rose so the margin is still 1.7 seconds Rose can see Blight but uh, Blight has enough in reserve three laps to go here in the feature race for production sedans and it's Blight from Rose from Eason from Bott yeah, just a mistake as well for Barry Rose he was starting to just close in little by little 
but he lost half a second just throughout getting a little bit too wide when he entered turn number two and it got himself crossed up and that has seen Blight with two laps to go just pull the quickest lap of the race very interesting he's getting quicker as the race goes on this could be good when it moves into next weekend's event but he sees Lachlan Eason right ahead of him but with one to go you wouldn't suggest the 97 is going to play any sort of factor in this one no down the main straight he comes Kai Blight your race leader from Rose in second place Lockie Eason is just going to hang on to third well not just hang on to third he'll finish third he'll just stay on the lead lap and then back to Angus Bott in fourth. Out of Turner before he comes. And he takes the checker flag. Clive Light first time. And he'll go into next week's state title with a lot of confidence from that. Barry Rose second. Three and a half seconds adrift. Back in third place is Lockie Eason. And Angus Bott will round out the four in car number 96. And unfortunately, Jamie Graham, Brandon Smith and Kelsey Beard didn't make it to the chequered flag. Jamie Graham was the only one who could have because Brandon Smith and Kelsey Beard didn't start the race. And the smoke in uh, Kai Blight's car just getting a little worse on that cool-down lap. But he takes the win from Barry Rose and Lockie Eason.